Case number six uh, is a patient who has uh, pain in the region of the foot near the MTP joints between the second and third metatarsals. Um, an ultrasound was performed in this case uh, not because she felt a mass, but a mass was seen. So this is just going to be covered because it's a common soft tissue mass to be imaged. Uh, we're looking on the plantar aspect of the foot here, and we're looking at, in cross-section, the second and third metatarsals and the inner metatarsal space. And you can see this hypoechoic uh, ball-like structure extending uh, beyond the margin towards the plantar side of the foot here. Um, so you can see with um, uh, compression dynamically on the metatarsal heads, uh, this um, mass will pop back and forth uh, uh, between the metatarsals. So as they squeeze together, it squishes this mass in a plantar direction. Um, there is anisotropy, so it's hard to see the tendons, but there's flexor tendons that are nearby as well. So this is an ultrasound with a typical finding in a typical location for this particular soft tissue mass. It is um, probably isoechoic to sometimes hypoechoic relative to uh, the muscle. An MRI was performed and you can see this dumbbell shaped mass extending along the uh, plantar aspect uh, of the second web space between the second and third metatarsal heads. Um, in this case uh, there's no dynamic squeezing so you don't see it popping back and forth. Um, other pulse sequences would be helpful. This coronal or short access proton density fat suppressed image uh, shows um, maybe a, a trace amount of fluid in the intermetatarsal bursa, but most of this is hypo-intense tissue. On this coronal T1 fat sap post-contrast image, uh, we see that there is an enhancing nodule along the plantar aspect of the second web space below the intermetatarsal ligament. Um, contrast not always necessary, but sometimes helpful. I think the T1 and PD or T2 are probably sufficient to make the diagnosis in most cases. The ultrasound, when it's large enough, you can see it as well. Uh, so this was uh, removed and uh, pathologically confirmed as a Morton's neuroma.